Okay, here we go. Hey everybody, this is Bridget Danner with Hormone Detox Shop and I'm here today with my friend Rachel Fresco who is the founder and CEO of Biobotanical Research. She's also a doctor of oriental medicine which is sort of how she got started in all this. Um, she was just telling me she's been growing this company for 30 years and it has a great reputation in our industry, which is how I came to know it from my functional medicine training course. Everybody was, you got to use biocidin for gut infections. So, you know, I had to check this stuff out and Rachel, your, your company has been introducing more products and I really love some of the new products. So I invited you on today to, yeah, talk about the products, talk about the efficacy, when to use them, how to use them, because I think, you know, they're specialty products and people don't, don't necessarily know how to use them or why to use them. So, um, thank you so much for being on. Thank you. I'm glad to be here and I'm excited because, you know, we've been growing so fast and we've been able to do a lot more research. We have had <clears throat> so much interest from universities and researchers. So doing clinical trials and doing things that really kind of help us to pinpoint what's working and so I'm excited about that and I know you're going to talk about the toothpaste today and so that's one of the things we've been doing a research project on and of course our work with SIBO and and other intestinal dysbiosis issues it's sort of always ongoing um but what do you what do you want to know most about today well I think I would love to for people to hear a little story before we launch in each product because it'll kind of set the framework you have such an amazing story about your first product and how you developed it and while well, you were still a student and what it worked for. Could you tell us that story and what it, what it, went, what it, what it went on to know it worked for as well that, that practitioners like me are using it for now? Yeah, so back in the late 80s, I um, was just getting out of acupuncture school in 87. I had taken my state boards and was working at Con Herb Company. Many of you, if you're familiar with Chinese herbs, know about Con. It's a great company. And um, so the doctors at Con were having a hard time because people were starting to have opportunistic infections who had acquired AIDS. And there really weren't any drugs back then. And the Chinese herbs really weren't necessarily targeting those infections. And I had been working in veterinary medicine with this formula of herbs that was working really well in difficult infections in animals. And so we started to use it in people also. And then one of the doctors um, who we had sent it to, sent it to Great Smokies Diagnostic Labs, which is now Genova, and, and they tested it. And so the owner of the lab called me up and he's like, I don't know who you are, or what this is, but it kills everything. And I'm like, well, is that good? You know, and he's like, yes, you know, we, we want to put it on our panel. And I'm like, well, okay. Well, I didn't have any idea that that meant like 30,000 doctors a month were going to be finding out about biocidin. So that's what's happening basically. And uh, over the years, you know, some of the doctors have been using it, following up with before and after lab testing of, of all kinds of different labs, you know, stool tests like what Genova was doing then, and also the urine organic acid testing is a good way to do before and after to kind of see what's happening um, when people are using these and um, just great success overall. Of course, I, I do need to have the caveat that these are nutritional supplements and that we are not diagnosing or treating any diseases and that people should use these um, with the help of a qualified medical professional. Um, if they're dealing with any kind of serious issues, you know, they, they want to work with somebody as a coach and consultant to make sure that, that they're doing everything correctly. Yes. Yes. And that's kind of why we're on to do some education. Um, you know, I talk a lot about gut health, but I was, you know, I, I was, I'm careful what I put on the shop because I know that, you know, you people, I don't want people to have adverse side effects. And you were saying that this, well, maybe we'll start with the, what did you call it? The BioClear kit. Um, we could start with that one. That was the first thing we put on their shop. And you said it was just a nice all round gut detox. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, the nice thing about the BioClear program is, is that it has three things in it that do very important functions. You've got the biocidin in there, which is the antimicrobial support for balancing your gut health. And so that's super important because it, even if you took, you know, millions of uh, CFUs of probiotics a day, if you've got 
bad bacteria or imbalanced bacteria in your gut, it's going to cause problems that just the probiotics aren't enough to deal with. So you do need to like get rid of those unwanted uh, partners in your gut and, um, and make sure to support the good ones. So the biocidin is sort of that um, broad spectrum type of herbal formula that has um, support for yeast as well as bacteria and parasites and even viruses. So it's just so broadly acting, it's really effective that way. And then the GI detox comes into play because you need to mop up and pull out the toxins once you're killing things off. Um, many of you may have heard of biofilms. So we know that anytime you've had an infection in your body, after two weeks, it started to develop this coating, this biofilm, and that makes it very impervious to treatment as well as detection by your immune system. But as you break down these biofilms with some of the botanicals, then those endotoxin components are gonna get reabsorbed into your system and make you feel like a, a detox reaction or die off reaction or Herxheimer's. So, but if you pull those things out during the process, you'll feel a lot better. Your body's not having to deal with those extra toxins to get rid of them. And so that's what the, bio the, um, the GI detox is really doing. So it's grabbing and pulling those components out. And it also has some nice support in there for uh, metals and um, even other xenobiotics because using a, a bunch of different binders together kind of gives you a, a wide variety of things that you're able to bind and isolate and pull out of your system. So using that like an hour to two hours after the biocidin, when gotcha. you're on an empty stomach, really important because of course it's going to bind to whatever's there. So you don't want to take it with other supplements or other medications because it could absorb them and make them less effective. So you always want to use the GI detox on an empty stomach. Um, the only time where I would say you could take that with food is if you ate something and it, you feel like it was off. Like if you got a little bit of food poisoning or something, you might go, yeah, I need this now. I need a bunch of it right away. And in fact, our office manager today called me this morning and she ate something at her cousin's yesterday and has food poisoning. And I oh, told no. her to take four or five, you know, immediately in like every few hours, um, she can't eat anyway. Um, because she's throwing up. Um, but, you know, try to- It's a try to, thing to have around, isn't it? The GI detox. The GI detox. It's a good medicine cabinet kind of item. And then the Proflora 4R is the spore-based probiotic. So the advantage to that is, is that it's not um, something that you have to worry about, the quality being interfered with by stomach acid, by temperature. It doesn't require refrigeration. Um, the spores get down into your gut and then they proliferate and help balance your intestinal flora. So um, you can take it even at the same time as biocide. Nothing can kill those spores. They're impervious. So they're super useful. You know, it used to be like in life, we would go out in nature or we would go out and, and hunt our food or dig up our food or we, we would be touching the dirt somehow and we would be getting these soil organisms more readily into our body. But, you know, these days kids don't even go out and play in the dirt anymore. People are just on their phones or, you know, living in cities and always eating packaged food and they're just not ever getting in contact with dirt. And so the Proflora 4R kind of gives us that, you know, healthy soil component back. And then I added to it a very special form of quercetin called QU995. It's a patented form of quercetin that's 170 times stronger than regular quercetin. And so that's going to really calm down any inflammation in your gut or elsewhere. It's just, it's a great one if you have allergies even. Um, I use it that way. And having a strong quercetin on board is, is also really helpful for, for uh, leaky gut repair. Um, there's been studies now that have shown that the quercetin will repair leaky gut. So that's an important component. And then we added aloe and marshmallow for additional soothing and healing component to the GI tract, as well as just to give a little bit more um, help to people who might be constipated. A lot of people with SIBO have that problem. Sorry about that. Yeah, I like to have quercetin on hand too. Like if I'm having a food sensitivity reaction or just something made me feel that kind of, you're, you're good. I'll talk like <laughs> that kind of like phlegmy. I forgot, I forgot 
forgot about it. Oh, oh, that's okay. We're casual here. Um, yeah, I like to have quercetin on hand too. And if some people get nervous about the spore-based probiotics, it's the only one I recommend. They, you know, they just work the best. Um, you know, most yeah. probiotics are just just die as soon as they hit the store shelf or your stomach or whatever. Yeah. So, yeah. So yeah. To, to sum up, we're talking about a product that's a kit here. I think it's on our site, you'll see it listed as gut infection, bioclear cleansing program or something. And your, your, your home office name is bioclear. So it's these three products are already discounted when you buy them together, um, which is, is great. Um, and this is, you said for parasites, um, candida, but you also had mentioned to me like potentially mold exposure or Lyme disease too, right? Well, yeah, I mean, these things are, the biocide knows broad spectrum. So if you have a fungus or if you've been exposed to something as part of a nutritional support program that you can do, these things can be very helpful. A lot of the top um, doctors doing work with Lyme disease are using biocide. And typically they're using it in the liposomal form in Lyme because that's going to bypass the digestion and go straight to your bloodstream more. But so it depends on what you're doing. If you're trying to work on the gut or a gut cleansing program, just use the regular biocidin. But if you're trying to do clearing that's outside the GI tract, then you might consider the liposomal. But I would not you know, recommend people be using that without working with a practitioner. Okay. Um, okay. Because, that's you know, like a, those, are, those, are, you know, those are stronger and, and, and more serious kinds of things that you're addressing. Um, but the liquid biocidin just goes really far. Um, so the one that we have is actually the, the capsule. The one that we have in our kit is the capsule, actually. Yeah, it's the Similar. same liquid okay. in the capsule. So okay. either the liquid or the capsule is fine. Um, and we did discount that 15% over the individual pricing to make it easier for people. And so it, it should last about a month or a little more than a month. Um, and so depending on what someone's dealing with, they might just do it for one month just because they want to do a nice cleanse a couple times a year. Or if somebody's dealing with like a long time digestive issue with their practitioner um, program, they might want to do two or three months, you know, if they've been dealing with 20 years of, gotcha. of a, a gut issue. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah. And I'll, before we move on to the next segment, I'll say that, you know, the, with the capsule, if it's if it's too much and you're having, you know, ga the D GI detox should mop that up. But if you're feeling like it's too much, you're having some bloating or, you know, fatigue or something, you can use less, right? Like if it's too intense, they can use yeah. less capsules yeah, or work so up. Yeah, that's why in a way the liquid biocide might be more appropriate for people who are sensitive because then they can start with just one drop just one little drop and gradually build up. Whereas that capsule already has five drops in it. So maybe what you should do for your store is consider having the option of the drops or the capsules, one of those kits or the other. Most of our doctors like the drops better because you can go up slowly on the amount you're using, depending on how somebody's doing. You know, one person can take five drops, no problem. Another person, one drop will give them a detox reaction. So yeah, I careful. was actually the same when I started with the, the biocidin. So we've talked a little bit about the GI detox, which to, to maybe back up, this is um, some, some binder products. And your original formula, which is in some of our kits, because you only recently got the new product, has, just, has two of the binders. And then the newer GI detox has more binders. You want to just explain what a binder is and why you chose the different binders you did in your formula? Sure. The, um, the binder is something that has like a, a, a structure that can absorb toxins like a sponge and can kind of sequester those toxins. And it also has an electrical charge that it can attract things as well. So um, we're having a big rainstorm here. So you probably, it sounds like it's hailing on the house. Um, so, so that's why you need a binder. So either the zeolite clay that we have in the new binder or the pyrophyllite clay that we had in the old binder, either one of them works really well. Um, and we added, we still have the same um, activated charcoal in both products. And then we added some MMST silica in the new form because the old form of clay already had silica in it, but the new form that we got didn't. So we added silica to make that up so that you have that additional 
ability to bind. And then we added a little bit of um, uh, humic fulvic acid and pectin to the new one, just to kind of round it out a little more like, wow, we're reformulating, let's, you know, let's find some other good things to put in there, why not, as long as we can keep the price the same. So, so we were able to do that. And um, so I, either, either formula is good. I still am taking the old one because that's what I still have here at my house. Um, but when I run out, I'll switch to the new one. <laughs> and, um, and yeah, it's great really for, good. for while you're detoxing, while you're going through this gut program, like we talked about, or if you have, you've eaten something that doesn't, isn't sitting right. If you're, you know, I, I recommend it to people when they're using the sauna, if they're using the sauna for heavy metal or mold. Yeah. Or just, you know, because you're, you are putting out more toxins during, you know, after you use right. it. Uh, so I usually recommend it then. Um, so yeah, yeah another nice thing to have. go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. That was gonna say when you're mobilizing toxins, you definitely want to have some kind of binder on board. Yeah. And, and people have asked me, well, am I going to feel it? And most, I would say in my experience, mostly not unless you have a stomach uh, upset or a hangover, you know, or you're having some big reaction that you're calming down, then yes, you'll feel that. But otherwise I kind of think it's like the garbage man, you know, it's, it's just taking out the trash and you probably don't pay a lot of attention to the garbage man. It's just getting, you know, helping your body get a job done. So if you know, you might need some support, uh, in that category. Uh, yeah, I really love the GD, GI detox. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and, you know, for people who have had mold exposure, there is some evidence that the GI detox can help bind those mold toxins. We've seen people, doctors telling us that the before and after lab tests of their patient are showing that that's working. So that's, that's helpful. Good. Um, yeah, so that's really good to know. Exposure, that, that could be good. Um, and some people are even taking the biocidin liquid and they're putting it in a nasal wash if they've had mold exposure. A lot of people have um, tested positive for mycotoxins and marcons in their sinuses. So yeah, um, I've actually done that on your clean, advice. Yes, yeah, so I have the been tested, but yeah, I mix mine with the silver from Result yep. RNA and. Um, I talked to the lab actually, and they, they knew the silver, but they didn't know your product. And I'm like, oh yeah, she said, you know, you could use that. And so I think he was curious about it. Maybe you can talk to him more about it. I, I haven't did. retested. Oh, you did? Yeah. Oh, I saw good. him at the Lyme conference and he and I spoke. I think it would be great if we could create a product that had both of those together. But the biocidin also works just really well when you're doing um, just a saline nasal spray too. You could just get an over-the-counter saline nasal spray from the drugstore, something that you can unscrew the cap and you can just squirt like 10 or 12 drops of biocidin per ounce in there. And that's good. Like, you know, right now, a lot of people are getting colds and flus, having the biocidin on board as a nasal wash, as well as orally. That's super a good point. Helpful. That's a good point. Yeah. You, you know, you think about where germs are coming in and it's pretty much your nose and your mouth, pretty much, because you've just gotten your hands, it's usually because you put it in your mouth <laughs> and it gets to your mouth. So yeah, yeah. like, well, this is a good segue to talk about your, um, your oral health products. But yeah, I like the idea of like using it when you're on the airplane, you know, a lot of, a lot of indoor air is so dry this time of year and you're around a lot of germs. So that's a great tip. Yeah, Ooh. yeah, exactly. Cool. Let's talk toothpaste. And do you have your mouthwash product out yet? Or what's the status on that? Yeah, okay. Yeah. Okay. The, the liposomal oral care solution. So we're calling that one the dental side and LS liposomal solution. And so the, the, the toothpaste is basically a really nice natural toothpaste with uh, a hefty amount of biocidin in it. There's almost a whole bottle of biocidin in one tube of that toothpaste. And um, the toothpaste works super well, just as a daily maintenance. Um, it, we've definitely gotten reports back that people have less plaque, that their dentists are saying, hey, did you go someplace else for a cleaning? Because your, your mouth doesn't look like it usually does after three months or six months when the last time they came in. So people are saying, wow, this is really working um, for plaque. And then the liposomal solution is what dentists are using for people who have um, a more problematic issue of, of periodontal infection or gingivitis, or they've had dental work done. And so the liposomal solution, you, you squirt that in your mouth and you swish it. 
and that gets right into the gums. And I even take it and put it on my electric toothbrush and I like put it up into the gum line. Oh, um, okay. That's and especially nice. if you've just had your, your teeth cleaned, like you should have it in your hand the minute you get up from the dental chair and squirt it because that's the moment when you're bleeding orally that pathogens can be getting into your bloodstream. So mm. now the American Heart Association is saying that up to 50% of cardiac problems could be caused by dental bacteria. And when are you getting those dental bacteria into your bloodstream? You're getting it if you have bleeding gums because you have gum disease or if you've had your teeth cleaned or other oral procedures. So I highly recommend the toothpaste and the liposomal solution to be part of your daily care. And also, especially if you've had dental work. That's a great tip. Yeah, that's the toothpaste we use in our home. You know, it's more expensive than like your natural toothpaste at the grocery store. But like you said, it has like a whole bottle of biocidin in it. It's pretty powerful. Your mouth is this huge bacterial environment. People don't appreciate that enough. But yet I get a lot of people in my community saying, well, I know I have these fillings that I need to get rid of, or I know I have this infection that's affecting me. So we're seeing the to the teeth issues and we've got to get ahead of it with like, you know, my son had had like no, no dental problems at all. And I was like patting myself on the back. I'm a great mom. And then he went in and it was like a mess, you know, it was like six cavities. We had to have a tooth removed. And I was so upset. And, uh, the thing is maybe he eats a lot of raisins and trail mix and stuff. Um, but anyway, I, you know, I really had to like, think about how can I step up my game? Cause I was, I was using natural toothpaste, you know, he, I wasn't like giving him a bunch of soda or anything when here he had these cavities and it is putting him at risk for other health issues. He had to have, you know, the gas, which isn't good for you at all for surgery. And, um, so he's on the dental side and toothpaste. We don't have your mouthwash, but we have a different one, but we should get yours now that it's out. Um, so it just feels good to know, like we're doing some prevention in our house and I really, yeah, I really recommend it. It tastes good. You know, my son's using, using it. So obviously it's safe for kids yeah, and all that. Like yeah. And I well, think one of the things that, go ahead. Yeah. People reported like, you know, how the pocket depth that they measure, mm -hmm. um, Go in, they, you know, the hygienist is going there and she's probing and she's saying the numbers of how deep your pockets are. People are saying that their pocket depths have come down in half in like six to eight weeks huh. using the toothpaste and the liposomal solution. Um, so that's pretty significant because, you know, if you had really bad pockets, you might have to get root planing and nobody wants to get that horrible painful, expensive. Ooh, I don't know anything so, about that, but it sounds bad. Yeah, yeah it's really bad. So, you know, if, if you can avoid that um, and making sure obviously your diet is healthy and then using things like this, um, I think your overall health will be improved. When you think about it, like if you've got a bunch of bad bacteria in your mouth and then you're constantly seeding that into your gut, right? And conversely, if your gut is infected, and, you know, there's that open tube way between the two. You're, you're trading bacteria back and forth. So chicken or the egg, I don't know. I think it's a good idea to treat the whole GI tract. Both ends. That's a, it's a great point. Yeah, people don't think about the mouth enough. Um, and we, we really need to get a holistic dentist on here too to talk more. Because I know a lot of people are feeling stuck with like, well, what do I do with this mouth full of infections and fillings and all that? So yeah, I really recommend the toothpaste. So if you're watching this in a timely fashion, I'm going to give a, a discount code on these three products we talked about. The code will be bio 15. So B I O for Rachel's company, which is bio botanical research. So bio 15 all together on these three products um, through the end of the year, this is end of 2018. So we'd love for you to test them out. You know, we have a full refund policy, so there's kind of no harm in it uh, <laughs> to try it out. And I only put stuff in the store that I really believe in, I know is effective. And Rachel, your pro products are really effective. I love these unique new products you're, you're putting out. Yeah, I'm excited. And Excited to do some new things for next year. Um, I've got some some things up my sleeve, so we'll see. And, <laughs> uh, and it's just it's a very busy time, as you know. You know, we're doing all these different research projects, and you know, we have. Um, 
doctors out lecturing at so many of the medical conferences and we are getting so much feedback from people and it's all been super positive and it's exciting to have brought something that's impacted this many people's health positively. I feel like, you know, my, my mission as a person is to be able to help others and these products are one of the ways that I've been able to do that. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank you for coming on. I hope that gave people a better sense of what they might want to select for their own case. And let's keep in touch, Rachel. Okay. Thank you so much. You have a great holiday.